Oh my God, man, no sound from my MIDI instruments. If you've ever had this problem, stand by and I'll give you a quick tip, hopefully, to solve that problem. Hello, YouTubes. John Fault and Evil Robots back with uh, just another quick tip about Ableton. This is going to be really short. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had a question. Somebody said um, they can't get my instruments to play. They're VSTs. So I'm going to show you uh, something really basic here. Uh, if you're already an experienced Ableton user, you're going to say, no duh. But this is something that caught me um, off guard when I started using it. It's something I had to learn myself. So if you don't know this, that's fine. Trust me, everybody's been here and um, nobody tells you this kind of basic stuff right off the bat. So I have a MIDI controller right here and when I hit the keys, nothing happens. So in this case, uh, a couple things. First of all, right here in the this MIDI track is where I actually want the sound to come out. If you hit your keys and look, this little yellow part right here means that there's something coming in. There, that means that your keyboard and your computer are connected together. That MIDI communication is happening. That's a good sign. If you don't see that at all, then you have a whole different problem. It's not necessarily, um, it's not going to be in this part of Ableton. It's going to be in the setup. It's going to be in your computer setup. It's going to be somewhere else. It's not going to be solved by what I'm showing you today. So if you're not seeing these little yellow lights or when you drop down, it'll actually show you which channel or channels. Um, that it's being transmitted on. Some products like the uh, Novation Launch Key products, which is another control I have that actually sends out MIDI on all channels. This one's sending it on channel 9. Okay, here's the thing. Very simple tip. You need to push this little red button right here. This little red button is the ARM record button. What that means is when you're recording, anything that's red here is what's going to actually record. Now, if you notice, when I click this button, you can't hear me anymore. That's because this one has a microphone input. This one is the MIDI input. Another little quick tip, you, on the Macintosh, you can hold down the command key. On a uh, PC, I believe it is also the, com uh, the control key. And you can click the arm button, and now you have multiple things armed. There is actually a setting in Ableton under I like to do these live so I never know where anything is when I'm looking for it right away uh, MIDI no record <laughs> okay exclusive arm and solo and if this is not checked you can actually arm multiple things at once and hear that that's actually that's a that's the live feed that I plug my guitar into, and it's going through a guitar rig, so it's like it gets crazy amplified. Okay, you may automatically want to jump into this and say, well, shoot, I want to have multiple things armed. That's actually a little dangerous because what will happen is if you have multiple tracks armed at once and forget and you hit record, you're going to record over something that you just recorded. So personally, I think it's best to have solo or uh, exclusive record turned on and then you can hit the command key and click when you want to specifically have multiple things selected for arming or armed for recording I should say okay so now nothing still right no sound but the big difference is this guy is going as well as this guy see so now there's MIDI communication this one is telling you hey this channel is receiving MIDI communication and it wants to play it wants to record again if we disarm it you get the yellow here, but nothing here. So if we arm it by hitting command and, and selecting it, just because I need to keep this mic live track so you can hear me. Okay, now we have sound. Okay, so now that that happened, now it's as easy as going to one of your VSTs. We'll just pick uh, instruments at random. Go to wavetable, that's a pretty cool one. New for a You see that it automatically armed that track when I drug it over. So I had to com uh, command, hit that again. Okay, there you go. 
So now we have sound from our MIDI. Beautiful. And we have sound from my voice, lovely as well. And that's my quick tip for today. Thank you. Hey, so was that video helpful? Was it not helpful? Do you have other problems that you'd like me to make a video on? Do you have other questions about Ableton or about music production that you'd like to know the answer to? Do you have any questions about any of my songs that of course you've listened to all of, right? Okay, let's pretend like you did listen to all my songs. You have a question about anything, you know, how, uh, how I made something, how something works, what it means, whatever. Uh, leave a message uh, in the comments below or visit us on our Facebook page and leave a comment there and I'll do my best to make a video explaining or answering your questions or giving you some more quick tips. Thanks. Hey guys, was that video helpful? <clears throat> Why won't my instruments play? If you want to find out, <laughs> that's cheesy.